here in front of uh, Fearman Slaughterhouse, where 10,000 lives are taken daily. 10,000 innocent lives slaughtered here for no more than the taste buds of humankind, of humans. Here we have the truck approaching, where approximately 300 animals are stacked into this truck. We're gonna, we're gonna stop this truck so we can bear witness. All right, in this episode of Drunk Girl, and I'm doing some uh, stuffed burgers with peppers and bacon and some onion. All right, I got some, uh, normally I just buy these fresh and chop them up, but I was lazy today. I bought them in a bag. And uh, one of my friends in Defiance, Liam Devlin, th th this one's for you, man. See, last time you complained I didn't cook things in the bacon grease. Well, I'm going to do that this time. I'm going to cook these on the bacon grease since you complained about it. Alright, you know we gotta add some uh, soy sauce and some garlic to this. It'd be a crime not to. These are looking good. I'm going to call these done. These are starting to stick a little bit. Alright, so got some hamburger here. And I normally load it up and make the hamburger real moist, but with something like this, I'm trying to make a stuffed burger. And with I make it real moist, it tends to fall apart. So I'm not going to add a whole lot to it. I'm just going to add some barbecue sauce. And I normally don't do it this way but I've done it a few times it's, it's not too bad so I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce this is a pound of hamburger right here 80 20 I'm gonna add that I've already got some garlic in the uh, peppers and mushrooms so I'm not gonna be adding more garlic but I'm gonna add some um, McCormick's mesquite That should be good right there. All right, and I'm just gonna mix this up. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna add some more barbecue sauce, and I know my hands are dirty, and I don't worry about cross contamination because I'm gonna throw the ball out when I'm done. What little's left in it. Alright, so I'm back, and this is a, um, I showed this before in my Power Burger video, but this is a burger press, and I'm just going to try and get two burgers or more of this, probably two. And basically just put the hamburger in there and press down on this. 
And this little tricky is to get it out of here. But I find it more easy to do if you kind of do a little bit of this by hand. So I'm trying to create a cavity here basically. Well, we definitely need bacon in there, for sure. So, I'm just going to put two pieces of bacon there like that. And then, uh, well, use my hand on the spoon. Put some peppers. Then we need to put some hamburger back on top of that. And there you go, that's that's one right there. Well, I gotta wash this off. All right, I'm back. Got this washed off, and uh, this time I'm trying not to be stupid and touch cooked food with raw hamburger again. Well, a little short hamburger for this one, but I think we'll make do with it. So there's two burgers out of a pound stuffed. I got these set on the top rack just because they're kind of thick, and I would just want to slow cook these. And you know what? I might, uh, I might just add a little smoke to these. I might throw some apple wood in the uh, charcoal starter. Yeah, let me do that. I'll be back. All right, I've got my side burner on here on this chimney starter. My girl's nasty. I need to detail clean it again. But I try to get the big pieces in here for smoking on a charcoal grill. But I'm working with what I got right now and aren't the best. But I got one good piece. And I'm going to get these going and I'm going to throw them on the grill and I'll show you how to do that. I've shown this in my Pow Burger video also, but I'm kind of going over it again. This wood here, it's, it's, it's going pretty good. It's got a little white on it. And just I just wave this or blow it out, whatever works. And I'm going to place this away from the food. I'm kind of trying to do this quickly. All right, you see, I got quite a bit of smoke here. And uh, I'm just going to get this burner going on this side on medium low. And then just shut the lid. And uh, I'm going to get these, these going on low too. Low, medium low above the wood. Just let it hang out and smoke. Be back in a little bit. All right, I suspect these burgers are uh, ready for flipping because just by the way I can hear them sizzling. I'm going to take a look. You see, we still got some good smoke going, but I'm going to 
take a peek at these and now I see they're just real they're real uh, moist and they're just gonna fall apart I'm just gonna let them go for a little bit all right at this point these are uh, these are ready to flip and this wood on fire I need to put that out These are separating. That's another reason I don't often do stuffed burgers. They're difficult. But I'm going to see what I can do with it. All right, these burgers are basically done. And I'm just letting them hang out just a few more minutes until this cheese melt. I'm going to pull them off. All right, I got the buns ready. I got some bacon at the bottom, as you can see. And well, I got some mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato on the top. And, uh, I went ahead and put some few jal pickled jalapenos on the uh, burgers and the cheese, so this should be really good. I'll be back when this is done. All right, I'm calling these burgers done. They're looking good. That cheese is, it's melted, maybe not quite as much as I like to do, but at this point, I'm just ready to get these things off of here and eat them. Anyway, I'll be back and show you the final product here. And well, Jesus once said, two of the best things in life are some beer and some bacon and, and I just can't let this bacon go to waste I mean I can't understand why all those vegans are running in front of these damn trucks trying to stop the bacon I mean what the fuck's wrong with these guys let me put some bacon on this shit you know some more bacon I mean how about that some more bacon you know And that's what I'm talking about right there. Alright. Like, subscribe.